Bishop Onesto F. Onchoco of the Diocese of Cubao, um, Monsignor Pedro Quitorio, uh, the spiritual director of Casey Fapi, uh, Reverend uh, Father John Neniman, California uh, spiritual director or state chaplain, rather, I'm sorry. Luzon Deputy, uh, Brother Arsenio Isidro Gia, uh, Supreme Director, Brother Al Alonso Tan, Past Luzon uh, Deputies, Brothers uh, Antonio Tiulo, Brothers uh, Rodolfo Magzino, Bro Brother Arsenio Lopez, Officers of the Knights of Columbus, of the Luzon jurisdiction, officers of KC Papi. Um, is Brother Henry Reyes here? Uh, yeah, Brother Henry Reyes, uh, President of Keys, and members of the Board of Directors of Keys, area managers, fraternal counselors. Last but not the least, the, uh, the DDs, the Grand Knights, past DDs, past Grand Knights. Uh, isang maganda, makabuluhan, at punong-puno ng biyayang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning! Alam nyo, matagal-tagal na rin na hindi ko kayo nakakasama sa inyong mga pagtitipon na gaya nito. Hindi po dahil ito ay personal na desisyon ko, kundi lang po natatapat na meron pong uh, uh, pagtitipon sa Mindanao at Visayas na nasasabay naman sa ating pagtitipon. At ako po ay naaatasang pumunta doon. Gaya po ngayon, ang uh, Mindanao... Uh, uh, convention uh, is actually today also, no? and they're having it in uh, in uh, Dipolog. Oh. In fact, I was talking to uh, Gary San Sebastian last night at uh, pinabalita nga ho niya sa akin kung ano ang nagaganap sa Mindanao. Gusto ko pong magtanong sa inyo. I'd like to ask a question. Ilan po sa inyo ang nakatanggap ng dividendo ng KC Fapi? Brother Boy, Brother Boy up, nakatanggap ka ba ng dividendo? Brother Alon? <laughs> Wala pa ba? Meron, meron. Binibiro tayo ni Brother Boy up eh. Uh -huh. Well, I asked them if they were able to receive uh, dividends. No? Mm -hmm. Pwede po bang uh, tumayo yung nakatanggap? <laughs> uh, eh, pwede. Palakpakan po natin lahat ang nakatanggap ng dividendo. Ngayon, ang... Yung tanong ko po na yon ay tumutukoy sa ating makangkasapi, sa ating kapatiran sa Knights of Columbus na nakatanggap ng dividendo bilang policy holder. Uh, sa, sa Casey Papi at sa Knights of Columbus, tinatawag po natin yon na BC holder, benefit certificate holder. But actually, Kayo po, yun po yung policy holder, insurance policy holder under the individual regular plan. Kaya ko po itinanong, gusto ko rin pong malaman <coughs> ng personal 
kung sino po ang may coverage. Ngayon, hindi po tayo nagdi-discriminate sa walang coverage. Dahil sa totoo po, yung walang individual coverage, meron naman pong CMBP, yung Council Mortuary Benefit Program. So I would suppose, karamihan po dito, merong CMBP. Ilan po ang may CMBP dito? Palakpakan po nga natin ang may CMBP. For your information, everyone is covered in KC Papi. Maski po wala kayong individual plan, maski wala kayong CMBP, covered kayo. Kanina kung napansin ninyo, when you were in the ground floor, meron pong pinapipirma sa inyo. Pumirma po ba kayo? Well, if you did, that's very good because that is a free accident coverage. Libre po yun. Binibigay din po ng, si, ng Casey Papi sa inyo ng walang bayad yun. Libre po yan. Because we want to see to it that everyone is covered and uh, Casey Papi does its role, does its mission of providing pecuniary assistance to its members. No? As required by our funders, si Father McGivney at si Father Wilman. Kaya ako po tinatanong sa inyo kung yun ang nangyayari. <clears throat> Ngayon po, uh, at this juncture, please allow me to uh, give you a President's Report. Ito pong President's Report ko na ito, I think this will be, ito po, this will be the last one because my term of office is ending by the end of this Columbian year. Tapos na po yung termino ko. So it is uh, a great honor and privilege for me to present to you the uh, performance of Casey Fapi. Membership as of January 1, 2013. If you add up Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, ilan po ang Knights of Columbus? Almost 300,000, you know? So ilagay na po natin sa 300,000 of which almost 50% belongs to Luzon. Palakpakan po natin ang Luzon. Dahil kalahati po ng Knights of Columbus sa Pilipinas ay nanggagaling sa Luzon. Nandyan po ang Mindanao. Nakikita po niyo yung green. Sila po ay 28.9%. At, uh, at ang Visayas po, 21.13%. Ngayon, as to availment ratio, members who have insurance, who have benefit certificates, CMBP, and the rest, etc. Like the accident. Dito pala, CMBP and ano to? CMBP and... Uh, this is CMBP and the regular plans. For Luzon... Almost 38,000, representing more than 25 percent. For Visayas, 8,800 plus, representing almost 14 percent. And for Mindanao, 17,000 plus, representing almost 20 percent. <clears throat> the grand total in terms of absolute amount is 69,980. Or a coverage of 21.35 percent. This is actually 4.4% 4 .4 higher than 2011. So may improvement po from last year. Total insurance coverage in force. Ibig sabihin po, ito ang mga live coverage. Ibig sabihin kung buhay na coverage. Ito po ang, uh, ang grand total ng insurance coverage na sinasagot ng Casey Papi. So it's 11.7 billion for 2012 or an increase of 1 billion from 2011, a 9.2% increase. 
First year contribution. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng first year contribution? Siguro po sa kasi po tayo uh, we always call it the Casey way. So when we say contribution, this is actually premium. It premium for the first year. So first year premium for 2012 is 138 million. This is the highest ever, highest ever for KC Fapi. And if you notice, it has been increasing steadily from 2010, 2011 to 2012. 107, naging 127, and then 138. Ito yung kaninang binanggit ko, yung CMBP, the group insurance. <coughs> it also improved. If you look at the uh, amount at the bottom, it's 20.9. Nag-increase po, no? 18.6 nung 2011. So that represents a 12.3% increase. Now, in terms of councils, uh, it went up by 98 from 716 to 814. Renewal year contribution income. Ano po ba ito? Ito po yung renewal premium. Di ba po? After the first year, renewal na yan. Yung pagpapatuloy na pagbabayad ng premium ng ating mga insured. So for 2012, again, this is another first, the highest ever, 394.9, almost 395 million. An increase of 9.78%. From the 359.8 million of 2011. So, ang total underwriting revenue. Ito po yung pinagsama-sama, yung premium. Sa first year, sa renewal at sa CMBP, 551.4 million. Nag-increase po ng 9.9 or 10% from the level of 2011. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung 2011 at 2012, both figures have breached the half billion level ng underwriting revenue. Living and debt benefits, ito po yung mga binayad natin. Doon po sa mga nagmature na policies at doon naman po sa ating mga kapatid na pumanaw na Ang total uh, benefits po na naibayad natin is 310 million for 2012. Again, uh, it would show you a progressive increase, 251, 293 to 310. Our commitment, our commitment of Casey Papi is to provide Optimum fraternal service no, via its insurance program. And we do this through our area managers and fraternal counselors. We have 21 area managers in the whole Philippines. Pinakamarami po sa Luzon. We have 14 in Luzon. At meron din po tayong unit managers, 16 unit managers. Uh, most of these are in the Visayas and Mindanao, no? The medyo uh, virgin pa yung areas. We also have 1,234 fraternal counselors. Ito po yung parang mga underwriters natin. Of which, 325 are new recruits. <clears throat> well, this, uh, well, this showed, this shows how we, uh, how we recognize our AMs and FCs. No? Every year, we have this annual award where they are <coughs> properly recognized. Uh, hindi ako naglagay ng retrato na to. Ewan ko kung sila ang pumili nito. No? Uh, sabi ko nga, baka mapagkamala na naman, sasabihin na naman eh, uh, kontrabida ako sa pelikula. <laughs> Kasama ko pa yung misis ko, nasa kanan. Uh, 
The one at the center is uh, Brother Adora Spuria. Siya ho ang area manager. He was the area manager of the year for 2012. And uh, he did it, did it as a two-pit. Two-pit means two consecutive years. So maganda po yung nagawa ni Brother Ador niyan, record niyan. At yun naman pong nasa gitna, si Brother uh, Rodante uh, Sultan. Oh, hindi ho siya Muslim, Katoliko ho siya. But his name is Rodante Sultan. And for the first time in the history of Casey Fapi, he produced the highest FYCI, yung first year premium. For the first time, 5.2 million. Isang tao lang po yun. That was a record. <clears throat> well, our mission, of course, is to serve the BC holders and the uh, KC market. But uh, for us to be, effect to be able to do this effectively, uh, KC Papi needs to measure itself against certain international standards. No? Yung ISO, yan ho ang nasa retrato. ISO actually is the Inter International Organization for Standards and that is based in Geneva. And we've been uh, an ISO certified company for six consecutive years already. So again, last year nakuha na naman po natin yung ating certification. <clears throat> The strategy of Casey Papi, of course, is prudent finance and investment management. Now, if you look at the, uh, this particular uh, <coughs> slide, uh, you will see that the total resources, resources po, assets, ng Casey Papi has already reached 3.9 billion or almost 4 billion. This was as of year-end 2012. Pero as of today, I can assure you, lumampas na po tayo sa 4 billion. So it has been steadily increasing, 3.3 to 3.6 to 3.9. As the graph would show, from 2010 to 2012. At wala pa pong revaluation of assets to. Hindi pa po tayo nagre-revalue. So if we revalue our assets, Meaning, if we will have our assets reappraised by uh, independent uh, appraisers, no, uh, I'm very sure it would be much higher. In fact, pag sinama po natin yung assets ng dalawang subsidiaries at dalawang foundations, I'm quite positive. If revalued, we will hit or even bridge the five billion. Resources, total resources. <clears throat> investment, ito yung investment portfolio. Kasi ho, ang insurance, hindi ho tayo kumikita sa premium. Akala po ng iba, ang income, ang bottom line ng insurance ay nanggagaling o yung income ay nanggagaling po sa perang, uh, sa premium na ibinabayad sa atin. Hindi po ganun. Ang, ang pera po ng isang insurance company like Casey Fapi, nanggagaling po ito sa investment. How prudent the investment uh, management of uh, resources are. <clears throat> I'm sure all of you are very much aware, and in fact I've talked to, to you about this before, that the... Uh, interest rate in the market continues to decline. It has been declining, but this does not mean that the economy is not doing well. In fact, it's the reverse. When the economy is doing well, the interest rate goes down. In fact, there's too much market, there's too much liquidity in the market that the uh, government uh, has been reducing it's interest rates on government securities, particularly short-term, <coughs> excuse me, short-term securities. 
to be able <coughs> to get the uh, to be able to uh, <coughs> to uh, to put into better use the excess liquidity in the market, uh, like the uh, equities or capital market. So, ang tendency po ngayon, inilalagay po sa equities, sa stock market. But we, in KZ Papi, is so prudent, so conservative, that we don't put a single centavo in the stock market. Kaya pong matatag na matatag, dahil wala po tayong nilalagay, maski isang sentimo sa stock market. Nakalagay po lahat yan sa government securities, <coughs> big, the big commercial banks, and of course, uh, some corporate issues, no? blue chips, in blue chips na hindi stock market. These are corporate issues, meaning preferred shares and corporate bonds. So if you look at the uh, pie, nakikita nyo po dyan, government securities, 42%. Time deposit, 21%. Fixed income securities, 20%. Yung stocks na nandyan po, hindi sa stock market. Stocks ho yan sa affiliates natin. Doon sa Maze at sa Kiss Realty. Hindi po investment sa stock market yan. And of course, the busy loans, 12%. Busy loans, ito po yung benefit certificate holders uh, borrowing money from Casey Papi. Yung pong insured, umuutang din po sa atin. Because they have all the right to borrow from Casey Papi against the cash reserves of their policies. So that's a total of 3.7 billion at ang investment yield is 7.2 percent. Alam naman ninyo, magkano ang interest na nakukuha nyo sa banko ngayon? <laughs> Net of 20 percent uh, withholding, wala pa huyat ang 1 percent. Mm -hmm. And even the short term, government securities have gone down to 1.5 percent. So we're quite healthy. And let me assure you also that we have no borrowings. Wala po tayong utang sa maski anong banko o sa maski anong financial institution. Malinis po ang libro ng Casey Papi. Operating expense. Siyempre po, meron ding gastos. <clears throat> Kung makikita nyo dyan, we have proven, prudent, very prudently managed our operating expense. In fact, Operating expense ratio, no? ratio po ito, meaning as a percentage of our total revenues, it has went, gone down from 22.7% in 2011 to 20.8% 20 in 2012. So, bumaba po ng dalawang porsyento. So, parang dalawang sentimo po ang binaba sa bawat piso na kinikita natin ang ating operating expenses. <coughs> Oh, ito. <clears throat> Alam nyo, galing kasi ako sa, sa private, kaya minsan yung, yung terminology. Participation of busy holders. This refers to dividends. Yung tinanong ko unang-una sa inyo. Yung dividendo. Nakakakun, nakakatanggap kayo dahil kung kayo ay individual holder ng isang individual plan, you will receive this every year. So nakikita nyo, tumataas din po ang dividends na ibinibigay natin. 32 million in 2010, 33 million in 2011, and 35 million in 2012. <clears throat> Alam po ninyo, as a matter of practice, although we are not really mandated by law or any regulation, we had been giving out 50% of what we make. Kung ano po yung kinikita natin, yung net income natin, ibinabalik po natin kalahate sa ating mga insured. And we take pride in saying that Casey Fapi is the only company doing this. I don't think even in other countries, I don't know if uh, they're doing this in other countries, but I'm very sure that in the Philippines and in the region, in fact, no one is doing this. It's only KC Papi. 
Mapagmamalaki niyo po ang Casey Papi at ang Knights of Columbus for doing this. We are not really profit-oriented. We're non-profit, non-stock. And this is the best evidence because we're giving half of what we make. We're giving it back to the insured. <clears throat> now, we also contribute to benevolent causes. Tayo po, gaya nga po ng nabanggit ni uh, Cardinal Tagle, nung nagsalita siya, when Cardinal Tagle spoke the other day <clears throat> to the Institute of uh, uh, Good Governance, or Corporate Governance rather, ang sinabi po niya, kasi po ang topic niya, kapapano raw po ibabalik ang Diyos sa boardroom. Yun po ang topic na diniskas. Palagay ko, nauna po tayo doon. Dahil uh, if you talk of bringing God back to the boardroom, <coughs> Casey Papi, the Knights of Columbus and Casey Papi, they've been doing this for ages, no? for long. For so long that uh, siguro nauna po tayo doon. And we don't only do it in the boardroom because we only do it, we, we also do it on the management level, on the staff level, as reflected in our benevolent causes. Naging, ayan po yung uh, level niyan, 6.8, 8.7, 7.9. Baka nagtataka kayo, bakit bumaba sa 2012? Well, I'll uh, explain it to you later, no? Ito po yung... Uh, what we contributed to the Knights of Columbus, the order, and the other benevolent causes. Uh, donation to CBCP. We have what we call the Seed of Hope Fund, where Casey Papi has allotted uh, 10 million pesos, and uh, from the earnings of which we give, and the earnings of which we give to the CBCP every year at the start of their plenary, and that will be on July. So for last year, we gave a 787,000 pesos. The CBCP monitor, you're very familiar with that, especially the supplement, the cross. <clears throat> 480,000 po ang binibigay natin dyan. The word exposed of Cardinal Tagle, nagbibigay din po tayo ng 300,000. Donations to foundations. Yeah. Yan po ang pinakamalaki, that's about 3.7 million. Uh, dalawa po ang foundation ng KC Papi, yung Father Wilman Charities Foundation and KC Philippines Foundation. Then, the support to the Order of the Knights of Columbus, 690,000. Pero I'll go back to that later. No? Transpo and travel of uh, bishops, uh, 497,000 or almost 500,000. The National Insurance uh, Convention, 1.5, Council Officers Jewels, 154,000 plus, New Council Development Expense, 100, ba to, di ba 150 to? 150 antes ah, parang mali. Tama yan? 150? That should be 150, no? I recall. Ngayon dito ah, oh, ang hindi nakalagay dito, and that is due to uh, uh, accounting treatment, yung accruals. Yun hong... Uh, because last year, we spent 3 million pesos for the National Convention. The one in Manila Hotel. Uh -huh. Casey Papi spent tulong po sa Knights of Columbus yon, particularly kila Brother Boy po, sa inyo, sa Luzon. Kayo po ang, uh, ang uh, host noon, ano, nung last year, where uh, si, uh, our Supreme Knight was uh, here, no? favoring us with his valued presence. So, yun po wala dito. At hindi rin po nakalagay dyan yung pong na gastos ng Casey Papi sa oratory and uh, uh, monument of uh, Father McGivney. Uh, kung hindi ko po kayo napapasyal sa, sa, sa opisina, kasi pag sinabi ko opisina, hindi ko sinasabing Casey Papi lang. Kasi ho, alam niyo naman, KC Papi at KC Luzon ang nandoon. Ano? So sabihin na lang po natin, kung hindi po kayo napapasyal sa headquarters ng Knights of Columbus, eh, ma siguro po it's about time. Tingnan niyo, maganda po yung oratory na yon at yung monumento ng ating founder, si Father McGivney. At siguro po, dadagdag ko na rin at this point, na meron po tayong itinayo, tapos na po. 
yung pong chapel at museum ni Father Wilman. Tapos na tapos na po yun. And that will be blessed and inaugurated on July 5. Tentative, no? July 5. So everyone's invited. Maganda po yun. Maganda nyo makita yung <coughs> museum at chapel. Ito naman po yung majority in hold on. Majority in wholly owned companies. Ito po yung kanina nabanggit ko na in terms of assets, hindi lang po Casey Papi because there are other uh, entities under the umbrella of Casey Papi. Nandiyan po yung Kiss Realty and Development Corporation. Kanina nga po binanggit, binati natin si Brother Henry Reyes, siya po ang presidente. Uh, nandiyan din po ang Mace Insurance Agency headed by uh, Brother uh, Tony Yulo. Of course, the uh, two foundations, ang uh, chairman po niyan, si Brother, si Brother uh, Justice Joey Reyes, at ang presidente po, ang ating supreme director, si Brother Alon Tan. Now, in all of these entities, palagi pong nandyan si LD. Oo, because si LD, palagi pong siya ang kasama natin dyan. Oh, and of course, the uh, two other deputies, <coughs> Mindanao and Visayas. Pati po sa Casey Papi, nandun po palagi yung tatlong deputy. Ito, well, uh, it will show you the total resources. Umakyat din po ang total resources ng dalawang subsidiaries. This includes already the foundation, no? Oh, kiss lang ba ito? Kiss and maze. Ah, sorry. So that's, uh, that's, uh, so this is only for Kiss Realty. Kiss Realty. Kiss Realty is a real estate company. Hmm. It's in the business of real estate development, meaning ito po ay nagpapaupa at ito rin po ay nagde-develop at minsan din po ito ay naglaland banking. No? At sila rin po ang may-ari ng Holy Trinity. So, Holy Trinity is part of Kiss Realty. <coughs> As the graph would show, total resources increased by 22%. 434 million na po. Uh, so, tumaas po ng 77.8 million. Palakpakan po naman natin si ang uh, Kiss Realty. Pati po ang kanilang net income, maganda rin po. Oh, 15 to 26 million. Ito naman po yung maize. Uh, maize eh, is not as big as keys because maize takes care of the non-life, non-life insurance. At ang maize po is only a general agency. But then again, you will see that they posted positive variances or positive uh, growth no, in both resources and net income. Oh. So 38% increase in, in, in net income and 5.3% in total resources. Si Brother Tony Yulo po yan, mga kasama niya. Palakpakan po naman natin sila. <laughs> Ito naman po yung KC Philippines Foundations Inc. Uh, Casey, the focus of KC Philippines is actually uh, giving academic scholarships no, to uh, the uh, uh, to, uh, children of KC members, no? children uh, belonging to, uh, they, they may be children, or pwede maski apo, pwede po, no? <coughs> inaalaw po natin yan. At sila po ay, uh, we, um, well, not just necessarily children of KC o, o miyembro ng pamilya, kung hindi ho talagang deserving. Kaya nga lang, uh, they belong to the lower uh, economic class. Medyo kinakapos at yan po ang binibigyan tuon ng, uh, ng foundation. Sila ay tinutulungan. So far, We have sent, if you look at the figure below, 392 na po ang napagtapos. 
of which 277 college, vocational 114. At merong isa sa high school. Palagay ko yung isa sa high school eh, medyo baka nagkasakit yun, hindi nakatuloy ng college, nag-iisa siya. <coughs> Currently, for uh, school year 2012 to 2013, we have 80 scholars. And let me share with you also that last year we were fortunate to have a manya cum laude graduating from UP. At yung isa sa Mindanao State University ata cum laude. Ito naman po yung Father George J. Wimlan Charities, Inc. Uh, ito naman po ang mga tumutulong sa mga seminarista at sa kaparihan. Again, uh, if you look at the figure down below, 187. 187 na po ang nag-graduate ng mga scholars. Ordained priests, uh, theology, 123. 123 pong pare yan, yung nakapagtapos na. Ordained deacon, 4. Waiting for ordination, 15. Licentiate, 21. Local na yun, ha? Licentiate Rome, 24. Marami po sa kanila, bishops, cardinals. At alam nyo kung sino yung natatangi doon? Si Cardinal Tagle. In fact, he was the very, very first scholar of Father Wilman. Ngayon, for ka, if you look at the current uh, roster, for 2012 to 2013, meron pa po tayong 32. Theology, 20. Licentiate Local, 8. And Licentiate Rome, 4. Hmm. Makikita niyo po sa retrato, ito po yung, uh, this is already the 8th gathering. <clears throat> because we always have this annual gathering of scholar priests. Yan po ay ginanap sa Bustos, Bulacan. Kasabay po ito nung National Convention last year. Yan po ang ating mga gwapong uh, pare, <laughs> scholar priest. <laughs> Yung iba po nandito ngayon. <laughs> si Monsi, yung dalawang Monsi. <clears throat> of course, we can never forget good corporate governance and risk management. That's why... It is required of us that we have a manual on governance. And this is in line with uh, Casey Papi's Articles of Incorporation and Bylaws. It's required also of us to have a code of ethics among our management, among management, among uh, people in management, staff, and members of the board. In fact, sa board ho, meron tayong independent trustees. That's a requirement. We always have two independent trustees out of nine people in the board of Casey Papi. And then, of course, the Casey Papi wide risk management. In the picture, you will show the uh, certificate of authority awarded to us by the Insurance Commission, and that is uh, Commissioner uh, Book. Oh, binibigay po sa atin yun, ano, huh? Okay. Human resources. As far as Casey Papi is concerned, the most valued, the most important resource of Casey Papi, yun pong mga tao. Mga tao natin. Kasama na po kayo doon. Kapatira naman po tayo. So, <clears throat> meaning the board, management, staff, no, pati po sa subsidiaries at uh, foundations. Dito po makikita nyo na binibigyan po natin sila ng pagkakataon na to be trained to be trained properly and this is just one of the pro the, uh, the seminars that they're attending the unleash the highest potential of work and life seminar na binigay natin on top of that meron din hong mga work related or um, insurance related uh, trainings like in loma We want our people to be whole also. Hindi naman po pwedeng puro trabaho na lang. So, uh, spiritually, we always want them to be, uh, to be abreast. 
And uh, you'll see in the picture on the left, yan po yung pilgrimage in Bataan, nitong nakaraang Holy Week. Oh, it's a spiritual activity for employees. Ginagawa po natin to. Now, we also give them time for fun. Nandiyan din po yung summer outing sa Busay Resort sa Antipolo. Matipid po ang kayo si Papi, ayaw pong gumastos ng malayo, kaya dyan lang kami sa Antipolo. <clears throat> Solidarity with the Catholic Church, the Order of the Knights of Columbus, and other community activities. Kung mapapansin nyo, nandun sa inset, si Chief Justice Davide, our chairman. He was part of the... Uh, Uh, National Committee for the uh, um, Pedro Calungsod, what you call this? Yung, uh, was it the uh, not just the sainthood, yung pagdating dito, that's the uh, Calungsod. Uh, the pilgrim? Hmm? Pilgrim image, no? Uh -huh. Kasi yung si uh, sabi nga ni Supreme Director sa ni LD eh, uh, si uh, Chairman Davide was part of the, com of the uh, committee for the uh, cause for the sainthood of uh, St. Pedro Calungsod. Pati nga po yung, uh, he was very much involved dun sa pilgrimage, yung national pilgrimage, yung Philippine celebration. At yung urna po na ginamit dyan, uh, Casey Papi po ang uh, nag- uh, uh, nag-donate noon. Uh, please continue. Mm -hmm. uh, na Nabanggit ko na sa inyo ito kanina and uh, we always present the check uh, at the plenary of the uh, CBCP. Nagbibigay po tayo yung kita dun sa 10 million fund. Oh, nabanggit ko na kanina ito, 787 yan, no? kanina, oh, 2012. Ito po, yung uh, Walk for Life, most of you uh, uh, are active in this. Uh, ito po yung project ni Brother Boy ng Luzon. Sumasama rin po ang KC Papi dyan. And uh, Brad, br Brother Boy, pang six years, no? Oh, this is already the sixth year. At sa tingin ko po, tayo siguro, uh, the Knights of Columbus being the, uh, the biggest and most militant, tayo po yata ang pinaka-aktibo dyan, dyan sa Walk for Life. Well, this picture uh, shows the uh, participation of uh, <coughs> the Philippines, the KC, uh, the Knights of Columbus of uh, the Philippines, uh, 130th Supreme Convention in Anaheim, California. O, nandyan po ang karamihan sa amin. O, kaya lang po sa retrato na yan, hindi nyo ako makikita. Nandun po ako sa kanan. Pero yung asawa ko nandun sa migit na. <laughs> o, kasama rin po natin dyan si Cardinal Tagle. At si Bishop Onchoco was there and also Monsignor Quitorio. At uh, dyan po sa pagtitipo na yan, eh, marami pong uh, nakamit na karangalan ang Luzon uh, jurisdiction. Next. Ah, ito po yung mga gift giving uh -huh, na ginagawa ng KC Papi. Na ito yung sa kwan, no? Ito yung sa kay Mother Teresa. The same, no? Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure na yung, kasi tingin ko, iisa lang yan eh. The one on top, uh, left and right, iisa po yan. Yung pong gift giving na ginawa namin dito po sa, sa uh, facility na pinut up ni Mother Teresa dyan sa Tayuman. Oh, nagpunta po dyan ang Casey Papi. And uh, one thing very significant here, hindi po pera ng Casey Papi ang ginastos, kundi po uh, pera na nanggaling sa pag-aabuloy o sa pagbibigay ng bawat empleyado at officers. Yan po. 
At uh, meron din po yung sa baba, ito po actually involved ang asawa ko dyan because my wife happens to be uh, president of the PWD for the Barangay San Lorenzo in Makati. Ito po yung talentadong PWD ng Makati where Casey Papi uh, was very much involved. For your information, I have a special child. <coughs> meron akong autistic son. That's why my family is always involved in the this type of activities. <coughs> Next. Meron din po yung fathers, I'm sure, uh, uh, well, most of you were there, ito po yung fathers for good na binigay nga po uh, noong uh, national convention. Uh, there were three winners, one from Luzon, isa sa Visayas, at isa sa Mindanao. Well, I think uh, that's about it. So, uh, ano po bang masasabi ko sa inyo? Ang masasabi ko sa inyo ay uh, unang-una, Uh, gusto ko lang po kayong batiin ng Knights of Columbus Way. Uh, di ba po, ang Knights of Columbus, we always greet each other by way of the cross. Uh, yung pong uh, vertical bar represents or defines our relationship with the Lord. Kaya po, binabati ko kayo as far as the cross is concerned, yun pong vertical bar, uh, sana po ay uh, katigan po sana tayo ng may kapal at uh, patuloy po sanang dumaloy ang biyaya niya sa ating lahat. So, mula po sa itaas, ito ay pababa, mula po sa ating may kapal, papunta po sa ibaba sa atin. And as far as the horizontal bar is concerned, which defines our relationship with our fellow men, and by fellow men, I refer to our families, ang ating pong mga may bahay, ang ating pong mga anak, ang ating pong simbahan, ang ating pong mga kardinal, ang ating pong mga ubispo, monsignor, kaparian, ang ating pong komunidad, ang ating mga kapitbahay, ang ating pong mga kasama sa hanap buhay, sa negosyo, pati na rin po ang ating pamahalaan. At huling huli, uh, at pinaka-importante ang ating bayan, lalo po sa nalalapit na eleksyon na sana po Pinalalangin po natin na sana po ito po ay talagang maging hope. Meaning, hope. Ano ho bang hope? <laughs> Honest, orderly, di ba? and peaceful elections. At gamitin po sana natin ng tama sa nararapat ang ating boto. Kaya po, with the horizontal bar, that represents our fellowship, our uh, relationship with <coughs> our fellow men. Uh, hinihingi ko po ang patnubay ng may kapal na tasana po ay ilagay tayo sa tamang landas at magampanan natin ang isang makabuluhang boto sa darating na eleksyon. 